Hey there, it's Celeste and I wanted to do a video on how Sintra and ChatGPT are different. I have some notes on the screen here and I have some notes on my iPad and so I will go quickly through my list. Number one, ChatGPT and Sintra, they serve two different purposes. And one of the things I wanted to share about their purposes is that ChatGPT was created to kind of mimic human um, conversation, whereas Centra was designed to really help business people automate their business systems. So with Centra, you know, we have our 12 um, helpers involved. And with ChatGPT, you have one box to type stuff into. And so you're trying to, in ChatGPT, to have it um, give you an answer based on, a human answer based on a prompt that you give it. Whereas in Centra, you're saying complete this task based on what you know about my business. So one, their purposes are very, very different. To me, number two, the app serve two different audiences. So if you are an entrepreneur who is trying to, you know, pretty much run a business, keep your, you know, business running and you need help and you may not have a lot of employees, paying the fee for Sintra and getting 12 helpers, or you might just want one. We'll talk about pricing last. Um, may be helpful for you. Two different audiences. Um, Chat GPT is more generalized. Everybody's using Chat GPT, whereas Sintra is specifically for business people, for entrepreneurs looking to streamline some of their tasks and some of the tasks that can be done through AI, getting them done through these helpers. ChatGPT does not do that. It's two different audiences, okay? Um, they both have different features. Now, in ChatGPT, there are um, add-ons or apps that you can connect to ChatGPT. Um, like Dolly will allow you to um, create AI images if you connect, if you pay the upgrade for ChatGPT, you can use Dolly, which creates the images. There are several apps that um, developers have made to enhance your ChatGPT experience and make it more user-friendly and do more specific things that you might want done. Like I've um, done images. I've tried to create characters. I've had, um, I believe there's a spreadsheet maker and different things like that where different developers have made things to add on to ChatGPT, which is great. But the features in Centra are like geared toward the business people. And of course, the main features are the 12 helpers. And I'm going to tell you the different features that come with Centra by listing these helpers. So we have Buddy, who does business development. We have customer support. We have an e-commerce helper. We have a data analyst. We have an email marketer. We have um, self-help, which is like your personal development. Um, helper, you have um, a sales manager, you have a copywriter, you have a recruiter, you have a SEO specialist, you have a social media expert, and a virtual assistant. So you have 12 different features in Centra that are specifically programmed to do those specific tasks. So that leads me to number four, that each of these bots is pre-programmed based on their task. So what does that mean? That means that if I need a social media post created, 
I'm going to go to Soshi and have her do it. I know it's a robot, but Soshi looks like a girl, sounds like a girl's name. So I'm going to say her. Um, Soshi is going to create this post for me. I, there is, even is an auto poster. So one difference with even with ChatGPT and Sintra is ChatGPT cannot post to social media for you. <laughs> so she and the social media manager can actually create an AI image for you or you can upload your own image or... I'm going to say or I'll say and it will take whatever you give it that image or create an image and create the caption for the social media post. Once it's done, it will um, and you like it, you click that you like it and you click schedule and then it gives you the option to pick a day, a time you want it um, to post as um, and that's amazing. So it can actually post to social media for you. It also has a Facebook commenter. I did a video on the social media poster. I'll do a video on the Facebook commenter. So basically it can, you can connect it to your Facebook page and it will read all your comments and suggest um, replies. That's amazing. 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 So each of these have an expertise. Um, I've talked in other videos about Emmy who suggests different email um, sequences for my business and stuff like that. So Emmy is an expert at email. Dexter is an expert at data and um, analysis. Comet, one of my favorites, is <laughs> e-commerce and gives you ideas about your um products, e-commerce products. So the in interfaces, let's go to number five. The interfaces are way, way, way different. Chat GPT to me is like computer, it looks like something for a computer programmer or something, <coughs> which is great because while I used it, when I, when, before I found this and I'm, you know, be quite honest with you, I still use Chat GPT, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I still use ChatGPT sometimes. I just don't use it as much. And I actually got rid of the paid application so that I can go ahead and use this more because I'm more geared towards business. So this is helping me more than ChatGPT was. So the chat the ChatGPT interface is just kind of boring i guess you would say but the centra interface is very colorful it's kind of easy to navigate it's easy to find what you want to do there's even a um part in the interface when you first log in that says what's on your mind today so i could say well i want to write a description for my youtube video and it'll automatically send me to the best helper to do the job. I type in my prompt and it gives me what I need. I can tweak it, of course, but the interfaces are way different. It's easier. The help, um, there's actual, that's another difference I didn't put on here. But on the interface, there is a help button. So there are actual people that work for Centra that, um, their job is to answer questions and help you. And I've um, worked with the, there's a bot that does most of the answers. But if you need deeper answers, you want to talk to a person, it actually gives you the option to talk to a person, which is great. And they respond pretty quickly. I think their help is only Monday through Friday, but that's all good. They answer me on Monday if I have questions over the weekend. So that's something different that there's customer service. I guess that's five and a half. <laughs> um, but definitely the interfaces are different. It looks nice, nicer. It's easier to navigate. Um, number six, Centra suggests ideas to you and interviews you about your business to train its brain. 
So one of the things that Centra has, well, with ChatGPT, you get one brain. Like it, everything is based on that one um, login that you have. Where in Centra, I believe I have, how many brains do I have? You can have up to five brains, so it can um, be well versed. And for me, like I have several different services, products, and even entities. I have a nonprofit. Um, I coach. I write books, and I do art classes. I mean, everything I do is centered around creativity. But I'm able to train each separate those out into different entities and have the brain trained for each one of those, which is absolutely amazing. With ChatGPT, you just have that one based on your login. Um, so another difference in number six is that Centra makes suggestions to you and then you say, yes, I want that. And then the helper goes and does it. So, um, like I said, Dexter will give you ideas about your social, I mean, about your e-commerce, I mean, Comet will give you suggestions about your e-commerce store, whereas Emmy might give you an email, ideas for an email sequence to your audience or say, hey, you should send out an e-newsletter, whereas Millie might give you some ideas for some sales to have in the next six months or whatever, based on how they, I'm sure they're going to have a whole Black Friday campaign. If not, I'm going to suggest it and have her, um, have Millie give me a whole Black Friday plan. So it suggests things to you. It asks you questions, whereas ChatGPT, you're mostly inputting everything on Centra. It's asking you questions to help you push your business along or to train its brain. Um, my last but not least is with Centra, you do not have to be an expert of all of these business functions <laughs> or an AI prompt expert. So I had someone tell me, well, I'm well versed at AI, so I don't think it's worth it. Well, I personally, as a business owner, want to be about spending my time generating money, not spending my time trying to um, learn how to be an SEO expert or learn how to be a pro at writing chat GPT prompts, even though I do know how to do it. This has changed my flow, like certain things I don't have to think about. It's suggested for me, and if it makes a suggestion and I want to tweak it, I tweak it. So one of the things I wanted to say is that it gives you ideas that you didn't even know you needed ideas for. So it could be making suggestions for stuff for you to do or even makes it making suggestions for stuff you didn't even know that you needed to do. And so that is very helpful because that's like having real employees where you don't have to tell them everything to do, but they use their expertise to help you carry your business forward. So the last thing before we get off is I want to talk about comparing the prices. Of course, you know, ChatGPT has a free version that has, um, you can do most of your um prompts and stuff on there and then it has the $20 upgrade which I was paying for I did recently um let that go because I do most of my stuff in Centra now because all I, a lot of stuff well everything I was doing in chat GPT was related to my business so I would get an idea go to chat GPT ask it to figure it out for me and give me a response based on that well now I don't have to do that I just say what I want and it tells me which helper does the best but I don't have to be an expert in all of these business functions I don't want to spend time doing that I want to spend time 
doing what I like to do, which is creating and um, being artistic, innovative, and then letting these other bots, helpers do what they do. So, um, oh, I was on price. How did I get back on that? Price. So, um, oh, that's what was related to price. So, Centra is like $99 a month for all 12 helpers. If you want one helper at a time, you can do the $39 plan. I tell you, for me, I started off at $39, and within 48 hours, I upgraded because I was like, I need all of these to help me. Well, the main ones I wanted was Busy, Soshi, um, Comet, and I think Buddy, who does the business development. And so by the time I would have paid for all of those, I would have paid the 99 and I think it's worth it. So now, um, basically, I use ChatGPT sometimes, but I mostly use Centra because everything I need to do for my business, I can do in this app. And to answer that young man's question, no, they're not the same. They're different. All righty. That's all I have to say. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Centra, um, click on the link that is in the comments or in my description. And I think there's still a 30% off coupon going around. And um, take advantage of that for your first month to try it out. And um, like this channel, subscribe. I do videos. I think I try to do a video at least every day or every other day showing different features of Centra. And um, I hope this helped you. Ask me any questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. All right. Thanks. Have a great one and I'll see you in the next video.